G'day mates. How the fuck are you? So, it's been a little while. Roughly around, what, two months now, I think, since the last video. I haven't uploaded. There's been a good reason for that. Uh, I got stuck in a bit of an endless loop. The video that I was working on was a fucking massive video. Big. Uh, a lot of mods trying to go over a lot of problems. Essentially what happened out of that was is I had to redo that video now four times. The one mod just <laughs> broke the camel's back and I thought, you know what? Fuck this. I'm done. <laughs> and I sat back. I hadn't played another game in like two months. I haven't actually sat down and played anything uh, besides Stalker and maybe a little bit of Helldivers here and there with what I can. Fun game, but you know um and i just sat back i thought to myself you know what there has to be a better way of doing this i thought to myself why don't i just do smaller videos i know at the beginning everyone's gonna want what i've done straight up unfortunately that's just not gonna happen but doing a smaller sort of video over the time um as with like work life and in this day and age, it's very hard to keep up with all the bills, payments, and everything else. So I have to work more. So my time is very limited during the weekdays, like two hours. Weekends, a little bit more flexible, but not so much. So I thought, do a focused video, put it all into a playlist, and then people can go over things. And on top of that, there's a benefit to it. It allows me to go through and do things with the simple mod pack. Try out different ideas. Do like uh, one of the viewers wanted to do was uh, a winter version of this mod. And it'll allow me to do that. I can go through and do all of that sort of stuff. Upload it. And you can modify and use the simple mod pack as a basis of being able to learn modding in Stalker. And it just allows me to bring up fun ideas that I can bring to you as well. And then you can try them out for yourself. And then I can show you all of the problems I came up against, um, what those solutions were. I, I think at the end of the day, this is going to work out a lot better for me uh, and for my sanity. And um, and for you, at least you're going to have some form of consistent content coming out. So we will be going over um, my mod pack list, the updated simple mod pack. Um, this is not all of the mods. I've been going through slowly working on this and testing out all of these mods and play testing with what time I have. And, um, and this, this was, <laughs> let's leave it out. The next video is going to be about enhanced shaders, just so that you know what's coming. After that, it'll be, um, screen space shaders. And then after that, it'll be just odd mods here and there. I will touch upon them as I go through. Um, I'm not too sure how this is all going to work out. I don't do scripts. I know you're probably sitting there thinking, do a fucking script, dickhead. Um, scripts don't work for me. I I have a lot of shit that runs in my head. Um, sometimes I listen to a song, and then all of a sudden a new world explodes from that fucking song. Got no relevance to the song, uh, but it's the music itself that just sort of sets my mind ablaze with a brand new world and a brand new idea. And then from that, you know, from that little idea, I, I, I create these huge fucking worlds. Um, and then I write them and, and if I'm writing a script, it's about this. It's not interesting for me to write if you know what I mean Whereas I'll just start going oh shit this idea I've got to start writing it down or, or recording in my voice as I'm going through so that, that, that's not going to work Let's start off with a couple of things because I'm tired of talking about other shit Let's get into the point first of all before we do anything else I've gone through and I've checked every single mod on the updated on the simple mod pack Okay, and I put down updated next to all of the mods that have been updated recently. Okay, I've also added in the new redone Lemanskin Hospital. Go through and do those. Now, the one thing that I didn't realize about this in the beginning, I'm sorry to anyone who went through and used this list and these links were broken. Uh, I didn't realize the redone collection or the guys that were doing the redone collection, whenever they've got a brand new update, they go through and they put a brand new mod out, which has got a brand new um, web page on it. Right? So I didn't realize that... Um, they were just basically going from, you know, deleting the old page essentially and creating a new one. So if you came into the mod and you 
clicked on these and realized, oh shit, it didn't work. Just know that there is one way that you can go through and find the redone collection. Just go to here in your search and just type in re because redone has like a little, you know, I think it's that one there. I don't know what you call that, but just type in re and it's going to show you all of the repack, all of the stuff in here. And right down the bottom, you're going to find the redone collection. So the collections here, Radar, Lemansk. Also these cool ones with the pseudo giants, boars, everything else. I can't wait to get into this. Um, I just can't fucking wait. It looks awesome. But that's one way of being able to keep an eye on it. Okay. But for now, my list is, has been has got updated next to everything. I'm not using Promzone or anything else, else anymore. Um, they have updated. Now, I'm not using it because there's a problem with it. Um, I, I actually really like it. It's really, really good and really well done. It's good to see someone actually doing levels for Stalker. It's so fucking good. But at the same time, <clears throat> with the prior version, uh, the levels were a little bit too big and just a little too sparse for my liking. I don't know whether it's me, a me problem. It more than likely is a me problem. Uh, in the scale of modders that are out there, I am like, you know, if you got Grok at the very top, um, and you've got piece of shit down the bottom. That's me, right? Um, for me, at the moment, it's just for me. I'm just not using it. Okay. Each uses this pack however you choose. The main point of the video. I think that's everything I wanted to say. I'm pretty sure it is. We used Mishkos, uh, and we went through and we input these values here into the command list in the game, right? Now, if you wanted to go through and change all of this, you'd have to either one, write down what the original settings were and then rechange them according to what you wrote down. So um, Sunshaft minimum was probably 0.0, .0 or maybe 0.05. I don't even know myself. So what I'm looking at is wiping this out, having a clean slate to work off, and then installing Dunkle's weather mod which is very similar to Mishko's. You've still got to input commands with this as well, but it's completely different. The game will look very different. To be able to make sure that we're guaranteeing that we're getting the actual experience from mod, mod itself, we need a clean slate to work off. So, how do we achieve this? So we go into our where our installation is. So for me, it's simple mod pack modified. Um, app data. And in here, you're going to find the user LTX file. Now, the user LTX file covers your your visual, uh, sorry, your advanced settings and your basic settings. So all of those settings to change in there. So your, your filtering, your sun shadows, your, your, your shadows on your person, all that sort of stuff, your grass especially, that covers that. The other thing that it also covers is your keyboard commands. So whatever you set up for your shortcuts in there, that is all within your user LTX file. All of your settings that you do within the console command, <coughs> sorry, within the console command is also within the user LTX file. When you go through and do this, you're going to reset all of that. Now it's easy to go through and change all your advanced settings and everything else. Uh, and then the only misfortunate thing you've got to do is just restart the game. Shouldn't take you long depending on your system. Now, what do we do? So. This user LTX file right now has got all of our Mishko's settings in there. All right, so all of the settings that we set up for Mishko's are in this user, user LTX file. First thing we're going to do is create a brand new folder, and I'm going to call it Mish for Mishko's. Now I'm going to go through and rename this, and I'm going to change the last three parameters of the file to BAK. So now, this is a backup file of our of our Mishko settings, right? So what I'm going to do then is just select it, click and drag, and put it into Mish, right? Now, what does this do? Essentially, it's like in the game. You go through and you hit escape and you save the game. It's a save state, right? So whenever you die, you'll go back to that former save and you'll start from it there again. This is the same idea and same principle except you do have the ramifications of having to reset all of your advanced, basic, and your controls within the game. 
that's not really a big issue, especially in modding. You get used to it. But it just allows you to, let's say you go into MISCOs and you fuck with a lot more settings and maybe you install a couple of other mods and, and then eventually you've just got this crazy fucking mess of a game that you're looking at and you go, oh, shit, I don't know how to reset any of this because I didn't write down any of the what the default settings were. This just allows you to clean your slate and start again, right? So in this case, I've gone through and I fucked around with my settings. I just deleted it. Now I'm going to go through and grab my user LTX from my mish folder because I know that this is my mishgo settings and I'm going to paste on there and I'm going to go through and change the last three letters of those parameters back to LTX. Now that user LTX with all of our mishgo settings has been reset. So all of our advanced settings, basic settings, um, mishgo settings and our control bindings, key bindings are all back to the way they were before we started with fucking the things too much and then we caused possibly catastrophic issues, right? So that's essentially what this is. We can also manipulate this to allow us to clean the slate and use different mods. So a weather mod lays in dunkles, uh, atmospherics, um, I think abn abnormal, abnormal I think is the other name. There's many other weather mods or graphics mods you could use that actually need you to input um, parameters within the command console. And then from there, you can go through and use, utilize those other mods and have different save states for all those mods. And then you can go through and experiment a lot more. Now, there is one good case that I wanted to bring up. So the old world, as everyone knows, that's a mod that I've really grown attached to. Uh, and I'm going through and doing that video, um, uh, well, as we speak. This is going to allow me to work more on that mod pack now, doing it this way. But for demonstration, I went through and I was just playing around with things and I installed the old world. So old world would have been up here, right? Uh, and I didn't have Mishko's or dynamic tone map set. I loaded the game. I went through and did a couple of things. Now, Old World has its own weather system within the game, right? So it saved all of its weather settings onto the user LTX file. So when I went through and I decided, you know what, I'm not going to do it this way. I'm just going to uninstall Old World. I uninstalled the Old World. And then I put on Mishkos and Dynamic Tone Maps. When I loaded into the game and started setting up the settings, I had really strange looking blues, greens, reds within the, within the weather. And, and within the lighting, and the game looked really odd, but for Stalker, looked normal. It was really cool. And I played on those settings a lot more, and I have them saved separately in a, in a text file. I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> Sorry, but it looked really cool. So I'm gonna save that in my ammunition for a later video. But if you wanted to play with that or play with those types of mods and then get different settings, you can have all of those there and save the save state in your user LTX and have another folder. So let's say I went through and I created a folder and I went old world. I can have the user LTX file that I accidentally found when I was going through playing with things and I can save that into there. And now I have my old world settings in there for Mishkos, let's say. Or if I wanted to be really pedantic, I can go through and grab that and put it into Mish. So now I know within Mish, I have my old world settings that have to do with Mish codes. So using your user LTX file in this way, you'll start to see that you can expand and do things differently. And, and, and very, it's just, it's cool, let's say. And this is also going to be beneficial for the enhanced shaders when we install that and for the triple s shader mod later on you can go through and try out different things do different um, settings do all of these other things and use your user ltx as your save state between those particular different um well states of the game i guess it's a better way of saying it but now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and delete this and what's going to happen when we start the new game? It's going to come up with a brand new LTX file and it will be our default settings. And I'm going to show that to you. So let's load into the game. Right, so we're in the game. 
Now, as an added bonus, I just thought of this as it was happening when I loaded into the game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with the debug menu. I will have a dedicated debug menu video coming later on. The idea is already in my head for it. But for now, I just wanted to go over something in case you are playing with it and you come across this problem. So you hit F7 and then you hit 3. So you bring up the weather. Right now, it's set to rain 3. This is just a fresh, brand new star. Okay? If I go through and I press clear... What's going to happen is you're going to hear that the internal weather is still raining. If I go outside, that sound is still going. Right? So this is just a little bit of a bug in the game. It won't go away either. It'll just keep going. So go back inside. I'll just um, set it back to rain 3. Right? Give it a couple of seconds. Now walk outside, we'll run outside, and you'll hear that change just then, and it goes to the outside weather, the outside rain. Now, you're free to change it back to clear, and you're outside with the clear weather going and no other rain weather going at all. I just thought I'd bring that up because circumstances were that it just happened, and I thought, you know what, I should probably bring that up. What the fuck were you firing? The shotgun of some description. Jesus. Right. So, back to my point. The main way I want to show you that everything has been reset is with the tone map. So, the TN underscore on. There. Tone map. You'll see that it's off. So, when you remember, when we installed MISCOs and set up those parameters, we turned the tone map on. So, zero is off. One is on. You see that it's off. If I go into my settings here, you see that my advanced settings have been changed. So normally I've got this set to 60. As people know, I run a free version of DaVinci Resolve because I can't afford the main one. Um, I like to have an angle on the object detail and texture detail. I've normally got this set to four. And... Um, you know, uh, with MISCOs, it was set to both, the sun rays mode, so that has been changed. And I've normally got the SSAO mode off, unless I'm running triple S shader mod, then I'll put it on to SSDO. Right, so you can see that things have been changed. If I go to my controls and my keybinds, as I said, all my keybinds have changed. So normally my control is C, um, my lean left is control, that is Alt. Um, my next firing mode is Q. That's G, that's E, and that's tab. And that is delete. <coughs> so you can see there that all of my settings have changed. So if I just cancel those settings, those settings, exit out of the game, you can see here there's a brand new LTX file. So that is default anomaly LTX file. My absolute default. So what you could do there if you wanted to, you can go through and change all of your settings within the game so that you have your advanced settings, your basic settings, your keyboard commands, everything all set up, right? But none of the internal uh, console commands have been changed. You can set up here and go uh, Anom. I'm just going to call it Anom, Anomaly, right? I can go through, re uh, rename this file, change the last three to be OK, and put that up into anom so now i have a save save state based on anomaly itself so if i wanted to go through and get a clean slate at any at any at any stage for any reason <clears throat> but all of my internal video um, settings are all set and so is my keyboard commands that's all been saved that is now save state i'm not too worried about it right now to just show you for demonstration okay now Let's say we wanted to install Dunkles. Right, so I go through and I install the Dunkles mod, which is here, Dunkles weather mod. Now with Dunkles weather mod, we have to go into manual because on the web page itself, it doesn't have all of your console commands in here. Actually a part of the mod itself is PNG files, right? So. We'll need to open these up. So you can do that from here when you're installing. 
and then the console commands. So you can see here, these are your console commands that you've got to input. These are your screen settings that you've got to put. Now, don't get this confused with your console commands. Your console commands for saturation, brightness uh, are completely different. Gamma is relatively the same. But the other two, the bottom two, color saturation and brightness, you don't use these on those console commands. You've got to use the actual basic light settings, right? And then these are your sun settings you've got to set within the game itself, okay? When you do this, you won't need to worry about resetting um, the game, as in, sorry, restarting the game, okay? So I'm going to set this up so that I can sort of see it all on my right monitor. And we're going to fully install this mod just so in case you actually want to give this a try yourself and try out a different weather mod. Okay. So we don't need these. We just need the game data installed, activate it, and we'll put it up here. <coughs> now, dynamic tone map. It is one on one with Mishko's. However, dynamic tone map also works with other weather mods as well. It should work with Dunkles, all right. However, with dynamic tone maps, you're going to have to go through and adjust all the individual hemis and ambience and stuff like that within the add on section itself to suit Dunkles. Now, there may be a Dunkles um, LTX file that you can install perhaps somewhere that will have all of those settings for dynamic time maps or there's a separate update for dy dynamic time maps. I don't know. I actually haven't looked, but there might be there. Let's go through and run the game with Dunkles and we'll set up all of those settings. Uh, you know what sucks? I think I don't know if it was simple GUI, but the the, the music within the game from I think it's simple GUI. It might have been one of the other mods. It's so fucking good. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. It's a shame I have to turn it off because <laughs> I don't know whether or not it's going to come up with a copyright strike. Anyway, let's go into the main point, which is setting up our visuals, our advanced, and we've got to set up the sun shadows. We're going down to the sun section of the game so here so sun shadows is on we got to turn this to low the uh, sun sun shadow quality uh we got to set it for both so just like mish goes medium and then sun rays main intensity is 0.5 okay now i'm going to go through and change all of my settings as well and then we'll come back into the game because i'll have to restart after this and we'll start inputting all of the other commands all right, so we're back in after the reset. Reset. Now, when you want to input those basic commands or those screen settings in the basic section here, um, you're going to notice that it's not here. So in case you don't actually realize you haven't actually played with it, your basic light settings actually show up here. However, they will not show up unless you are in the game itself, right? So if I go over to gameplay and gameplay difficulty, you won't actually be able to change any of the internal game mechanics, let's say ammo, all that other sort of stuff, or all your gun uh, wear and tear. You won't be able to change any of those settings until you are actually in the game, right? So let's go into the game. All right, now we're in the game. I'm going to go into the settings, and you can see here basic light settings have shown up. So when you click on this, it'll come up within the game itself. That's why you need to be in the game to be able to modify this. So the gamma is one. The color saturation was set to 1.1 and the brightness was set to 1.3. Okay. All you need to do is just hit escape and you're done. Right. Uh, while we are here, I might just set incognito and God mode when we set up these commands so that I can do it and not worry about some asshole shooting me with a gun. <laughs> All right, let's go through and import these commands. So, LUM scale. So, let, before we do anything else, LUM scale is your external world brightness. Okay? So, let's just type in LUM scale. And it, you probably won't see much because it is a bright day, but 1.3. Oh, yeah, you did. You would have seen it. The brightness went down a fair bit. Okay, so that's your overworld brightness. Now, the 
uh, ambience is your internal brightness. So if we go inside here, we type in ambience, uh, lump scale ambience, and we want 1.2323. You're going to see that the internal updated. It, um, it grew brighter inside, right? Now, as for the Hemi, the best way I can explain it, like I said, I'm a low tier modder. I don't know of the best explanation for everything. But the best thing that I can say about it is your Hemi is your overworld brightness slash shadow. So it's like a... Um, I want to show you here. So if I type in the Hemi, yeah, it's set to one. It wants us to go all the way down to 0.48. And you see that overworld sort of brightness has toned right down. So now the shadows are actually coming through, and the level of brightness within the building has matched it. It does everything. It does the whole world, internal and external. Sort of shadow slash lighting. So I guess the lighting is being toned right down. I just can't find the right word for it. But if you're a moderator, you watch this video and you're thinking to yourself, God, this guy's a fuckhead. Please put it in the comments below a better explanation of it so that all of us can share and understand it a little bit better. I just can't explain it. Sorry. So, let's go on to the next setting. It's middle grey. These, I cannot explain here at all. So, 1.2. Oh, okay. You can see that the shadows grew even deeper on the, on the world itself. Let's aim it up a little bit so we can see a little bit better. Not looking at the sun, though. Actually, maybe we do got to look at the sun just a little bit. All right. Adaption. Adaption was set to six. It was ten. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't notice anything, so it's probably done something. Amount. Tone map amount. We want that set for 0.5. Oh, yeah. I saw the sun sort of grew inwards. You see the sun level of brightness there? It grew in a fair bit. Um, Lola was set to 0 0.58 didn't really notice much maybe a slight dip in the shadow now our color grading <coughs> make sure you put this as exactly as it is on the screen 0 0.5 that space five, space 0 0.5 no that's it and that's our color grading set. That sun is definitely bright. But I'm looking directly at it. We would have burned our bloody retinas by now. It's actually not bad. I don't actually mind this setting. It looks pretty good. Alright, let's quit out of the game. And we'll light up the dynamic tone maps instead. And see what happens. So right now it's raining. <coughs> Let's change that back to clear. So it looks like the dynamic tone maps is controlling the weather. So let's go ambience. Oh, sorry, the um, settings. So it's set it to 0.95704. So the ambience, as we saw inside before we went bright, it's actually matched it up a little bit better than what the um, the preset commands were. Let's have a look at the Hemi. Uh, 0.855, okay. Now, if I was to go through and change this to 1.5, let's say. You see that change back? You see that the, dy that the dynamic tone maps is actually setting all of this and controls it. So that's the sort of power that I wanted to demonstrate of dynamic tone maps with a particular 
different weather weather with a different weather mod get it fucking right dickhead <laughs> but you see it sort of works out all right now if you wanted to go through I, I can't guarantee that it's going to be a complete good mesh right but you may need to go through and set up all of these settings to suit it because um right now most of these are probably set up for Mishkos. that's why Mishkos works so well with it right so you may need to go through a minimum allowed hemi um lump scale hemi and uh, maximum allowed so you may need to go through and tweak a lot of this so that each sort of weather pattern and setting is set up right so that it can dynamically do it while you're playing the game otherwise like i said as you saw with the settings the work with the settings the way they were before you'd have to do it all manually and that's a pain in the ass now the world looks a little bit better you can still control the lump scale itself for the overworld brightness itself so let's say we go 1.4 mm, not much of a change there let's say we go one there it's a little bit darker and now the ambience my uh, 0.96908 i don't know if that was the last setting that was there before but I assume that would have changed to match, but or it may wait for the next weather, weather, um, the next weather status. So each little update, it'll go through and probably change it then. Oh, it just changed it then. I just noticed big change there. So was that the lump scale? No. So yeah. You can still use the um, the tone map with Dunkles and get it to work. And as you can see, the world sort of looks a lot better. That sun, though, is fairly bright. But if you were to look directly at the sun, that's exactly what you'd be seeing. But overall, it's not too bad. I, like, I actually quite like it. Let's change it to um, to partly. Yeah, it's not too bad. It will need some toning. You'll need to go through and modify some of the settings and the dynamic tone map. But if you go through and set it all up, you can set it all up and and it'll be pretty cool. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you to do with um, with the LTX file and how powerful it is to have this here. So now I can go through and just go folder, go Dunkles, or just go Dunk. So I want to have a beer with Duncan. And I go back up. No longer usable. Grab it, put it into Dunk. Those are my Dunkle settings. And then I can just go into Mesh and go, you know what? I'm going to copy this. Paste it and go LTX. Now our original Mishko settings are all set up. And I can just go through and turn off Dunkles and turn back on Mishkos. And away I go. I'm back on Mishkos. So hopefully this has taught you something. Um, out of it and how I utilize and brutalize the LTX file to my advantage um, I'm sure a lot of other modders do exactly the same thing it, I don't just don't think it's something that's shared with a lot of people it's something you do pick up over time unfortunately that's one of the things I picked up over time and so as, as I would just fuck with things within the game but now this should help you out a lot better in being able to utilize it to go and test out different mods and not be restricted or think you have to go through and reinstall like I did many years ago. Uh, <laughs> God, there was a lot of time wasted doing it that way. Holy fuck. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I hope you learned something out of this. The next video, like I said, will be the um, enhanced shaders. We're going to go over that. The DirectX 10 and DirectX 11 installs on that one. And um, hopefully that should be fairly soon when that comes out. Maybe in a week or two. All right. Thanks, mates. See you next time.